place and our, and our management tools. Um, there are a lot of vulnerabilities in the Linux and Shell uh, that come up, right? So we've had Hartley, we've had lots of others. There's, um, but the ones that don't make the news, there's still a lot of updates. And how are we keeping track of those the release? Because you don't just release a new version of OpenSSL and suddenly everyone that's using OpenSSL is in good shape. You actually have to implement that in, in an end product. And how do those response times correlate to, um, to the actual threats? Um, so, tying all of that together, there's a whole lot of different things throughout the life cycle that you can do to impact and research and look into um, software security and depth. Um, bringing it back to some interesting things um, for you today. Um, we'll look at maybe some potential collaborations. Um, so if you look at networks, um, there's some work being done here on SDNs, and there's been some work on Genie and other things looking at predictive analytics and threat modeling across those networks would be very interesting. Um, some of the um, predictive analytics and threats, not all threats are remote. Some of them are internal to your, to your um, corporation, internal to your university, and how to do like facial recognition. Um, usability versus security is, a, is always a concern. You, there's a myth that software that is usable is not secure, and software that is secure is not very usable. Um, and I, I think that there are um, ways to do both, um, and it's worth doing some empirical analysis around that. Um, looking at security and privacy, and then both like cloud computing, the internet of things. Um, looking at machine learning and how we can learn and, and grow the threat mitigation. Um, you know, looking at test-driven requirements with test research, um, looking at human factors um, and how that plays in, how user interfaces um, impact whether a system is secure or is made secure. Um, some potential ideas for classes, and these are just things thrown out there. Um, secure software lifecycle development, um, information security and privacy, security in the cloud, um, security in IoT, empirical. Um, software security is a little spoiler to Internet of Things. Um, you know, security versus usability, uh, visualization, user interface design, human computer interaction. I was just looking through the course catalog, and these may have been taught as special topics, but just some interesting things that I didn't see there. Um, and then looking at current classes and things that I definitely have an interest in and I've taught, I've taught um, you know, kind of the foundation CS1 stage structures. Um, level of course, I've taught um, a lot at the um, senior project level, so, um, and then you know, software engineering classes, a little bit in mobile, so it's very interesting, definitely open to what the university needs as far as that goes. Um, so, all right, questions, thoughts?
they did not look like they came from the same company. And when you start adding on startup companies and everything else, it makes it even more, that have been acquired, it makes it even more complex. Um, so one of the proposals I had was to um, work on a software UI team that made um, common components to be shared across those. Uh, we then made proposals as far as the specific technology stack, right? So like Euler 2, Bootstrap, these type of things. Um, when we did those proposals, Angular 2 was in beta, it was not in wide ado adoption. Um, it was more on the Angular 1 side, and so it was a, a, um, a growth of, there was a degree of trust that was placed there that the Angular 2 product would actually come out and would be good, and we would be able to influence it in a way to make it usable for our So I'm interested in what you looked at in terms of <laughs> broad industry review and academic review. Where did you look to get your information? Um, so I looked at a few different HCI journals. Um, I looked at, from the from academic side, I looked at um, just a survey of current tools and... Survey a, by... No, I, mean, I, I went out to each different competitive competitor and looked at, you know, what are they doing? teaching a basic course on web programming. It doesn't concentrate on security, it leads to capital. Right. What practices specifically do you have the students learn? So with web security, um, I would want to go through typical threats. So I would look at things like SQL connection, I would look at the um, overflows, I would look at autonomous uh, service and, and classify them as cycle of a project in the class um, 
I'm going to go look at that right now. <laughs>